We've been studying depression, and let's wrap this up today. We've looked at the source of depression. That's the devil, the enemy. We looked at the steps of overcoming depression, that of praising God, that of remembering God and filling our life with, with uh, his word and good music and seeking God and obeying his commandments and praying. Psalm 43 continues this thought. And I want you to see our last thought for this study is the Savior in our depression. In Psalm 43, it says, Judge me, O God, and plead my cause. It says in verse number two, For thou art the God of my strength. Why dost thou cast me off? Why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? The thought is continued in this chapter saying, God, I need help. I'm mourning. I am dark. I am depressed because of the enemy. And the thing that he asks for is to be judged. That doesn't sound like something that a depressed person will want to say, God, judge me. But that is what we need. This judging is not one of condemnation. It is one of inspection. It is one of God, examine my life and judge me and see what I need to change in my life. As David said, search me, purge me, he said. The idea here is inspecting something that's imperfect in order to help it to be more perfect. And again, we should want this in our life and we should cry out for it. And that should be our prayer. And if you're struggling with depression today, fall on your knees today and say, Oh God, judge me. Send forth thy light. He says in verse number three, Oh, send out the light. We should want God's light to shine upon our life. In the beginning, God said, let there be light. And there was light. And that was the physical. But God also gives spiritual light. John chapter number one says that light shines upon all men. That is salvation, of course. But then that light, that the word of God is a light to our path. It is a light into our life. And the darkness is there because the light is not. Light is just the absence of darkness. Light always overcomes darkness. Praise the Lord for that. And today... Call upon the Lord and ask him to send forth his light. It doesn't mean that the depressed person isn't in the word, but that the word of God is not being illuminated to them. In Psalm 4 and verse number 6 says, There be many that say, Who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of thy countenance upon us. In Psalm 36 and verse number 9 says, For with thee, for with thee is the fountain of light. In thy light shall we see light. In Psalm chapter number 97 and in verse number 11, we read this verse to you. <clears throat> Psalm 97 and verse number 11, light is sown for the righteous and gladness for the upright in heart. What a great verse that light is sown. We think about seeds being sown and here God, he sows light. Light was sown in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Light is sown through the word of God. Light is sown through good counsel. Light is sown through good authorities in our life. Light is sown in godly music. And rarely is something sown that does not bring forth fruit and more abundant than the seed that was sown. Allow God to bring forth this light into your life by illuminating the word of God. By illuminating the preaching, by illuminating the music, stop and think and ask God, judge me, O God, and send forth thy light. Brighten my life. Show me what needs to change and show me how great you are. Lead me to this fountain of gladness. But not only by light, <clears throat> but we want to be judged by truth. Verse 3 says, O send out thy light and thy truth. Let them lead me. Truth. What is truth? The word of God. What does truth do? Well, the truth will set you free. The reason we get so down and lose our joy is because we believed a lie. A lie from the enemy. And the only thing that can remove the lie is the acceptance of the truth. We must accept it and live by it. When we accept the truth, well, in verse number four, it says, O oh, send out thy light and thy truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me unto the holy hill, to thy tabernacles. Then will I go into the altar of God, unto God my exceeding joy. Yea, upon the harp I will praise thee, O God. 
You see, when we allow the truth to lead and govern our life, we are given, verse number four, everlasting or exceeding joy. All of a sudden, you'll go to the altar, you'll go to church, you'll find yourself enjoying it again, enjoying the singing, enjoying the fellowship, enjoying the praise. Isn't it sad how when a believer gets depressed, the first thing they do is quit church? The devil always gets them to start believing lies, like no one likes them, no one accepts them, or something's wrong with them, or, or there's something wrong at church. Or No, the devil just doesn't want you there. He doesn't want God speaking to your heart. He doesn't want that light to be illuminating your life. The things that need to be removed are the things that are great. He doesn't want the truth to set you free from these things, so he drives a wedge between you and your God. If you're depressed, there is hope. There is help. Praise him today. Seek him. Follow his commandments. Fill your life with good music. Recognize it is not a person that brings us depression or an event. It's the devil. Mark him. He's the enemy. Plead the blood of Christ. Overcome him through the blood and the word of your testimony. And today, ask him. Shine forth your light. Lead me in your truth. And when this happens, verse number five, why art thou cast down, O my soul? Why art thou disquieted in me? Hope in God. For I shall yet praise him who is the health of my countenance and my God. If he's your God, he will see you through. And he wants you to live an abundant life. Don't allow the devil to keep you in the chains of depression.